Right, so I've got the main stuck in now, and let's power it up and see how it goes. So there you go. Um, it's our boot screen. I'm not sure, let's press the button. Oh no. So it's actually booted up pretty much straight away by the look of it. Um, you should be able to hear the fan, the cooling fan for electronics going. And a lot of people moan about that. It is a little high pitched, but it's not terribly loud, so I'm not overly upset about that. Um, apparently, the user interface is terrible on these. We've got temp wave auto exec, mean, uh, sorry, menu, menu execute, so I guess manual execution, temp wave select, and F4, God knows what that says, some Chinese characters. Um, so, logically, manual is going to be to set your manual profile. I assume F1 starts it off and F3 selects the program. Oh, okay. So, wave 1. Now we'll change the wave. Alright, F1 and F2 to change. F3 to D. Delete, I guess. And F4 is to select. So, wave 3, wave 5. Okay, oh, that looks like a short one. Let's try that one then. Wave 7, God knows what profile it's for. So we want to press F4, which is okay. Okay, it's got more Chinese. Let's press F4 again. Ah, so there's Chinese symbols there on F4. Switch between Chinese and English. So we've made our selection, and I believe if we press F1, that is to start the program. Um, yeah, okay. It's heating. Where are we up to? So we've got the time. We've got, I think that's the target temperature, the first temperature, and the second temperature will be the actual temperature, I guess. So it's targeting 41, it's currently 30, and you can see the lamp here has come on, meaning it's heating up. So, heating up a bit slowly at first. If it's targeting 51, it's at 34. It's starting to catch up now. There we go. So we're up to 40 degrees C, 42, 45. Now, by the look of this profile, it's going to take a few minutes, even though it's a short one. So I think what we'll do is we'll skip out most of this, as you don't want to watch the entire cycle. But you get the idea. So we're currently targeting 75 and we're at 68. So it is catching up now. Uh, I, I assume it can modulate. Yep, it can switch this off on and off to basically modulate the. Uh, one thing that was interesting there was a picture of the fan change when the lamp goes off, on or off. Um, which is odd because it, the, the fan itself shouldn't be drawing a huge amount of current. Which means it seems to be dropping the voltage when it kicks the lamps in. Potentially, you could do a bit of a wiring upgrade then. Yeah, so it's dropped the fan speed. So it's like there's a bit of a voltage drop when the lamps kick in. So I think it potentially has cheap aluminium wiring. If we actually upgrade the mains wiring, that might resolve that. Something I might look at doing, actually. Anyway, let's leave this thing heating up. We're up to uh, targeting 117. It's currently 109. And we'll leave it doing what it's doing. Nothing new happened yet. We're targeting 240. Actual 237. The lamp is on. Looks like we're getting to the top of the, the peak. I'm not sure what the maximum temperature it's getting for us. Three minutes into the program now. Uh, it looks like we paused at 257 and the target is now dropping. I'm wondering if it's going to kick the fan in. Hmm, not sure if he uses the fan on this profile, it seems to be just ramping down slowly. But it's showing a target of 218 and the actual of 2, two well, 218 just then. So, I guess that with this profile, it doesn't need the fan, at least not yet. We'll come back and if more interesting happens. 
Ah, I spoke too soon. The fan's kicked in now. The uh, the difference has got a bit bigger. So it was down to I think it was targeting about there's about a 25 degree difference in the target, and it kicked the fan in. Played it for a few seconds. There you go. You can see it's actually modulating it. And I understand that the the temperature accuracy of these machines is a bit poor. Um, but it seems to do quite well at tracking the temperature, or at least the temperature it thinks it is. So we're going to do some further improvements at a later time to improve the temperature measuring ability of this. Therefore, the temperature tracking will be more accurate. So again, nothing, nothing interesting is going to happen now. It's just basically modulating the fan as and when required. And the temperature is dropping fairly reasonably, like in line with the target. So it seems to be performing reasonably well, at least based on its own internal temperature measurements. So hopefully you found that at least partially interesting and thank you for watching.